morning, welcome to a new vlog. Today is Friday the 2nd of November and I've just seen the first robin in the garden and I'm really excited because it means Christmas is on its way. I've officially packed Halloween, I need to clean the windows, I don't know if you can see but we had some window clings on the window, like the gel ones and they always leave marks that are a nightmare to get off. But my usual decor is back on here i still need to clear up some stuff there and this is it's still a pumpkin because i grew it and i don't know what to do with it i might chop it up and give it to animals somewhere i don't know where but we'll see uh it's not really an edible one they are not like the they, they wouldn't be very nice um but um yes so today in 20 minutes we're leaving to bring owen to james's parents and then Alfie has a speech therapy appointment and I'm really excited about it because uh, it's it's quite overdue. Um, I think all the health services are just flat out at the moment and they are just very limited in resources and they're doing their best with what they have but it can be very frustrating. Even though I do realize it's not their fault, uh, All every appointment is just very delayed at the moment but they are doing their best. Uh, the speech therapist Alfie has to me is just amazing. She does her job with such passion. It's infectious. It's she's just very enthusiastic. She tries loads of things. There's nothing that seems to phase her. Uh, I've never felt judged by uh, by her in any way, and I've, I have felt judged by a lot of professionals in the past. So it's always one of my anxieties before I go to see a new health professional. But with her. <coughs> I'm not even nervous before going to an appointment because I kind of know that it will go well. Uh, and I'm excited, excited for her to see like the progress because the last time that Alfie was there, he was starting only to put two words together, very, like a few attempts, but it was very limited still and he's made so much progress the past few months. And it's just been nice for her to see, like we've, we've been working really hard, you know, I can't like it's, it's just, it did not just happen. We've been working, she's giving us a little bit of exercise. We've been working really hard with him. But um, it's so nice when it pays off. I wouldn't have had a clue myself to try those things she told us. And um, at some point, I might actually make a video specifically about each aspect of the boys' care and James's, maybe. Um, it, it might be a, a, like just giving things we've tried that helped. It might help somebody else because it's stuff I know. If I hadn't met this woman and she hadn't told me about those things, I wouldn't have had a clue. And I've worked with a lot of children. I have some basic, uh, well, I have a childcare diploma and there was some basic, you know, developmental stuff and all that. And to me, what she told me, I would never have thought this could work and it really did. So it was great. Anyway, um, obviously he's still very delayed in his speech now, but we take every small progress as an, a massive leap for us because it's just the, the best way to go about it. He is, um, yeah, the speech is probably what is the most delayed in. Um, and also his behavior, like his speech and comprehension together. Um, whenever he started everything, uh, he had an 18 month delay and now we are at about a year delay. So it's getting, you know, the gap is getting smaller, but he seems to be making leaps uh, and then not progress for a while and then leaves it but i guess he needs to process everything as well it's a lot of work i'm sure for him too um so yeah but i'm very happy with how it's going and i'm excited to see her i haven't seen her in a while and um yeah it's just will be nice to show her how much progress is made and then we'll get new exercises so you can make even more progress and all that i've been back for quite a while now and Alfie, he refuses to take his backpack off or his shoes off or anything off, which is like a safety um, thing for him. Uh, but usually he always takes his backpack off in the house unless he's having not such a great day. He was very upset leaving the speech therapist, so I don't know if that's it, but anyway, we haven't managed to convince him to do it. Alfie? Okay. Come and see. Mommy's holding, what is it? This. What is it? Is it... No. Is it... A daddy? Yeah. Is it... A piece of dust? No. It's a camel. 
Well, it's a camera. A camera. Ooh. That camera. Camera. Still, Do you like it? Like? Glasses. <laughs> Everyone. Everyone. Yeah. Face? Everyone. yeah. The Minecraft glasses are still in the Halloween spirit. Ooh. <laughs> Just wanted to share a little proud moment because I don't get many. Wow. <laughs> Silly little things like this just make me happy. I was contacted yesterday, I think it was, by the editors of the book Cordially Invited by Zoe Sog. And look, can you see this picture here? Can you recognize the Instagram name? That's my picture, and that's me. They featured their favorite um, pictures of people making the recipes from the book. And there's my picture there. It's, it just feels so nice. It's just, it's a little ego boost and it's very much needed at the moment. So very nice. Thank you if you happen to be some of the people who've contacted me about this and you end up watching this video somehow. Thank you very much. Good morning. It's Monday the 5th of November already it's going so fast but i love it because it's getting closer to christmas uh the boys are back in school today i just dropped them off and i'm off straight to tesco's because i want to get advent calendars and like little christmasy bits sorted today um i have a list of things i want to do like per week just to spread the cost over the next couple of months and also just to get organized on time for whenever I need this stuff. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you and I'll explain to you my plan when I get home because I'll have everything then. I'm back home and I've sorted, I think everything I wanted to sort out today for Christmas is sorted and I'm so glad. I'm going to show you quickly. So, I have an echo cat. Uh, I got a present for her, this, that will be wrapped and put for Christmas. It was five pounds in Tesco's and I thought, given she played with a lot of toys, she probably would like that. Everything that's underneath, this is for my French rest for her daughters. She asked me to pick up. This I'm going to hide because it's a foil present, so I'm not going to show. Uh, right, so on the 1st of December, the boys will be getting a bag there <laughs> from their elf. So this is James's calendar. James loves Thornton's chocolate. And this is Alfie's. Uh, this is Owen's, and I have the same as Owen because Owen and I both love Kinder chocolate. So we decided to go for simple Christmas like chocolate calendars for this year because we're going on the 19th so we're not doing the full Christmas so next year I would invest in bigger calendars so we can do a proper advent fun thing but there because it's only we're not doing it all the way I figured this year I'm not going to spend any money like too much money on this and then I got mozzarella tape I have those um, scotch pre-cut tape things that um, I wanted to buy refill for and they didn't have any so in the meantime I just got a regular cello tape thing because yeah and then there's three for two on like the wrapping stuff so I got an extra roll of wrapping paper it's like little toy soldiers with gold I figured I could do adults and children then Christmas cards so I have quite a lot left from last year but I got this for Owen for his school friends Last year I did the same, um, Owen loves penguins, so his favourite animal, so I thought this was quite good. And then I got two extra packs, the same, three for two, so every year, I used to buy a massive Christmas card box with like a selection of cards, and there was loads I didn't like in it, so now I just keep the ones from the previous years and just add two packs like this each year. So I got those penguins with glitter, and then there's this little one, and then this one I absolutely love. Uh, clotheslines I don't know why so there's the elf one and the Santa ones and I like these ones because they are charity so this one is Diabetes UK and this one is Diabetes UK as well they might all be actually with Tesco's uh, then I bought myself the in the moment magazine I love 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 this magazine and then I use the pictures and all from it for art journaling because I love the style of Drawings, it's always bright colors, and I love bright colors, so there's that. Stocking fillers. So, uh, we're going to keep it small. Every year we end up using the chocolate melting it to make cakes because they don't eat a lot of it. So, this year I went with one small toy, 
figure. So Owen spotted this in Tesco's the other day and he really wanted it. So I knew I was going to get that. And for Alfie, I got a Santa instead. And then Owen loves Smarties and there's a penguin on it. And the lid is light blue, which is obsessed with penguin and light blue. So I thought that was good. And for Alfie, I got Freddo faces. And then for Owen, I got a Roblox, um, like surprise toy thing and for Alfie I got just because it's smaller two of the little uh, mini racers from cars he loves those cars and then because we're going to France and I'm going to have stockings in France as well as my two nieces I got chocolate buttons for Alfie and my youngest niece who is just over one should be one and a half by Christmas time and then I got Owen another Smarties with a blue lid and my other niece Dawn is a very girly girl and she loves pink so I got her the pink Smarties so that's my little Christmas haul and I got also a meal deal for lunch. The shopping is coming tomorrow so we have very little in the fridge and I thought I'll just get like a sandwich with a drink and a bag of crisps for today for lunch and then I'll sort out the shopping this afternoon for delivery tomorrow morning. Hi, it's now Tuesday and it is the 6th of November. Um, <coughs> just a few things to show you. Um, this morning I went to collect my shopping and I also got a delivery. I had to order clothes for Alfie because he's outgrowing everything. Now I bought some top. I had to buy clothes in size 5 to 6 and he's 3 and a half. Now 5 to 6 is going to be a little bit big but the um, 4 to 5 is really getting small so it's just it's just growing really fast at the moment. Anyway the tops look a little bit big. But they're all cotton t-shirts, so I know when I wash them and tumble dry them, they're going to shrink a little bit, so I always prefer to have them a little bit bigger. But anyway, we have um, this. They're all from there, but I'm so... That's from the Blue Zoo, uh, like their own kids' range. This is for Christmas because Alfie doesn't like jumpers, so I like to have a couple of Christmas tops. We have two left from old ones from Owen, and I got him that. He's obsessed with Baby Shark, and I thought... This is cool and it has little tails sticking out. He's very excited about them all. Uh, then, as you know, Alfie and vehicles. So we got this one, the stripy one. I love stripy tops and he hasn't had any in a long time. Um, for both the boys, like for Owen this time and Alfie this time, um, Debenhams was the best place for tops that were a bit fun. And next usually is my go-to place, but I have to say, been a bit disappointed by next um not by the quality or anything like i still bought the tracks with bottoms and um the like jeans like like stretchy jeans for alfie there because i love them and i just keep buying the same one again and again and again but in terms of color choices and themes it's a bit boring at the moment for boys i don't know about girls but for boys anyway i find it a bit boring so i went to check that and then I found all these. So this is uh, well, dinosaurs and diggers and trucks. It grows in the dark apparently. I'm assuming it's dinosaurs and maybe the words. Um, I do like uh, those kind of t-shirts where you look look like you have two on. Uh, then this one is potentially the most Alfie t-shirt. Alfie really suits that darker yellow. And it has a digger, a crane and a dump truck. Some cones, signs, and it's just in a road. It's just, he loves this one. And then another stripy one with an ambulance, a police car, and a fire engine. We have one more that's coming, but it's not from the Blue Zoo range. from there, but I'm still, I think it's Lance End or something like this. And it's one that has a submarine, it's navy blue. It has a submarine shining a light down at the sea and in the light... Uh, do you know the light where the light shines you can see like the shadow of fish and sharks and stuff like that so and also also i got that this morning just before leaving for school which was perfect i went to get my shopping and then i stopped by mns um because i wanted to get myself something nice for lunch uh, i forgot to buy much lunches in uh, the food shop i was so focused on getting the stuff for this weekend my food shop is a bit messed up, which is kind of what happens. I didn't have a list. I wasn't very organized and I didn't do it right. But anyway, I thought I'll just go and get myself a little lunch treat uh, in m and on the way there. And I got a Christmas sandwich. I love 
the turkey sandwiches like this especially when there's cranberry sauce so this is going to be my lunch and i'm really excited about it um also what else today is the first day we have swimming at the new time and school we went last week but there was no school so it was didn't give me a fair idea of how it will work out i'm hoping it's a bit more less crazy than when it was later on and we had to go and get james straight after and all that um it's from four to half four and when it's finishing school at two so it should give us enough time to come home do the homework and then go swimming come back home for the boys to have dinner and then go and get james so yes otherwise echo has been following me everywhere and she keeps going like beside me like i'm here right beside me and she loves that blanket but I'm cold and I wanted the blanket but she's sleeping on it now and I don't want to wake her up because you know she's cute are you gonna wake up so I can get the blanket back also am I the only one who cried in front of Big Brother last night because it was the last one I mean this show can't end I am a massive Big Brother fan I watch Big Brother in every country I can find access to <laughs> And I love this show so much and I'm so sad that it's over. It's just, yeah, I just love this show. Some some channel has to pick it up. They can't, they can't make it end like this. But I was really glad. I'm not going to spoil it in case you haven't seen it and you want to see it. But whoever won was my favorite from the start. And I had in the bottom, in the, in the last four, I had three, my top three was part of the finalists. So I was very happy i'll let you guess who were my favorites but the winner was my top one and who the actually do you know what i'll tell you it's like that the two that finished th third and fourth were i loved and the winner i loved the other person i didn't mind but i just yeah i think it was fair enough they were there but anyway rumbling 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 right i'll go and read i'm reading a book well, at the moment which I bought in France I'm finally going through I have a pile of book of uh, books I bought and I haven't read yet and I'm going through it at the moment um, and I have yeah I have 20 minutes before I need to go for Alfie so I'm just going to continue my book a little bit and uh, yeah that's probably gonna be it for today I'll see you at some other point in the week I'm about to go and get Alfie but before I do I need to share something with you because I think it's a bit crazy uh, whenever we did um, when we did our bedroom I printed uh, some prints to frame and put on our wall and I used a card with a quote that I got in a little box last year I think it was the Christmas one and it says uh, in French but it translates as it's about a time we light up the stars again or something like that when I read this quote I thought oh, I just love it and I kept this card and I framed it in my room at the end of August. My mom came mid-September and she bought me a book that's called That Quote. That's the title of the book. And I thought, how weird is this? I've literally weeks ago framed this on my wall. She had no idea about it, never heard of it before, and she just bought me a book called That. I'm reading a new book now, which is completely unrelated, completely different author and all that. And the main character in this book He's being handed a matchbox, and on the matchbox, it says that quote exactly. This quote is following me wherever I go at the moment. I've had this book sitting since Easter on my shelf, and I have not read it. And I swear, <laughs> this is a message from the universe. You may not believe in the same things as me, but I do believe that things happen for a reason, and this quote really feels to me like this is what I want to achieve with my life right now because I do feel like I need to do that and this happens it's so weird this quote is literally following me everywhere I mean there could have been loads of quotes on that matchbox that the character has been handed but it had to be that one that I framed on my wall and that my mom bought me a book that she picked at random in the airport and that had the same thing it's so weird. Hi, it's now Wednesday. I'm in my office. There is my breakfast. I'm going to show you quickly the books that the elves are going to bring the boys. Uh, in case you're looking for ideas um, 
of books to give to children. So for Owen, we got the David Williams Ice Monster. I had actually pre-ordered it. Uh, we all love David Williams books. I mean, if you haven't read any and you have children now, Owen is seven, but uh, it's they are chunky books. I don't know if every seven-year-old will be capable of reading this. Um, but they could be books to read with your children if they are not capable of reading that yet themselves. Um, but yeah, I would say age maybe eight to well, I'm 33 and I love them, so you know I don't think there's an age where you can't can't read them. Uh, last year we had the Christmasorus by Tom Fletcher and we read a little bit every day on the run up to Christmas. This should keep us going for a while. <laughs> and uh, for Alfie, I got this book, which is called Busy Christmas. And it's one of those books that has, um, it's a very chunky board book. So I don't feel like it's gonna break in two seconds because there are a lot of moving parts. Sometimes the book, the book is board book and then there's like, those bits are more flimsy. Now this is the same, maybe not as thick as the page. But you know, like this is a hard chunky page is, I would say this is half maybe, because this is like two together. Uh, so I don't feel like he's going to break easily and he loves any book like this. He's getting really into understanding Christmas and I felt like this would be a good way to um, like explain it to him more. And then there's the Christmas tree. I love this one. I think it's so pretty. Like when you turn this, it just... You know, does that, and then there's like a manger, like a Christmas play. And Alfie's gonna have a Christmas play this year. I don't know how this is gonna go, but he's gonna be in the Christmas play. Uh, so, um, this is gonna be good to show to him. And then this one is with Santa, and I think this one's probably the cutest. So, you have Santa up the chimney, and then when Santa goes down, he's in the living room, the presents are out, and the stockings are filled. So, it's gonna be a good way. <coughs> To visually show him more about what we've been talking about um so that's that then Therese was meant to come this morning and her one of her daughters is sick so i'm going to make the most of it and try and get all my current open orders out of the way so then this weekend i don't have to worry about going away and then having to come home and have all these orders because i know it's good it's going to stress me out during the weekend so I'm going to try and get them done before I go. So then whenever Friday comes and the weekend starts, I'm just all done with the current ones. If I get any more from today, it's okay because I still have, I can do them next the weekend after, so that's fine. But yeah, I just want to go with those last few um, sent before I have to leave. Uh, I'm really excited about this weekend. So I don't think I mentioned this, but it's two of my friends and one of them is bringing his girlfriend. I've known them for... 21 years, which is a bit scary when you think about it, like, I've known them two-thirds of my life. Roughly. Almost. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But we went to school together, and we also come from the same area in my hometown, so we were taking the same bus to go to school, so we've kind of bonded more on the bus journey, and then we were in the same class for years, so... Uh, they were part of the nerds of the class and I was kind of floating between different groups I was not really fully part of one group. I was more like a person going Where <clears throat> the wind took me or where people accepted me maybe is the best the more honest way to put it <coughs> um, But in the end they are the ones that I'm still friends with and The other ones I it's not that I don't I'm not but it's just the one that I still see every single time it's possible, which is sometimes like, it's been years I haven't seen those two because one of them was traveling the world and the other one um, lives in Paris. So when I go home, I go 800 kilometers from Paris. And if we didn't go at the same time, we couldn't see each other. So it's just been a long time, especially to see them together. That's just been years and years and years. So it's great. I'm really excited about it. The weather looks rubbish for the weekend. So we're in the middle of changing plans and <clears throat> kind of trying to reverse the schedule and hoping that what we were meant to do on Saturday which was going to the Giants Causeway we're not going to attempt it now the weather is horrible there's even a weather warning on Friday that there's a chance it might be close to the public anyway uh, we are going to try it for Sunday but if it doesn't work they'll just have to come back and do it then but we were meeting originally to have a cozy weekend in a house near a nice scenery near the beach and to play board games and things like that so i mean if it rains 
it doesn't matter we'll still have a nice weekend i had to take extreme measures because my eyes were so bad but these are just far too big for my eyes so i can't put them too close they're just a weird shape they are the sephora i think i was hoping i had an anti-fatigue one left but i didn't i only had a moisturizing and energizing one but i figured my eyes could do with being energized god this is so bad i'm trying to use the viewfinder as a mirror i think the curve of my eyes is different or something but anyway that's what i'll do it's mostly the bottom but anyway so i'm gonna leave that on for 10 minutes or so i have i don't get dark circles often but i get very puffy eyes and i blame my granddad on my dad's side for that i get two big lines like you can see the shadow of one there there going down and then this gets all puffy so hopefully that goes down i had my shower it woke me up a little bit and i'm not finished just yet on orders i finished one i have a few more sheets to finish on one and i need to make new freebie sheets to sell with it so i'm gonna try and finish that but then i think i need to go and pick up alfie in 15 minutes so i won't be finished by then but i'm gonna try and finish by owen school run at two o'clock and fingers crossed then uh, tonight I don't have to work on that. I can just do a bit of journaling and do things for myself. But yeah, try and get maybe one more sheet done. We received the parcel. Alfie's going to open it. Alfie, look. Alfie, on the ground. Open the parcel. Wait, hold on. We'll leave them here for now. We can have them later. Open the parcel. Open the parcel. Cars. What's that? Cars. It's a truck to put your cars in. Yeah. And what's this? Is that for Alfie? No, nuns. For mommies? What is that? Nuns. It's for mommy. What is this? Alfie's. <gasps> it's Alfie's. We will open it. Mm. Hello. There's another one. Oh, you have this one already. Look. You have two now. You get the, you get the right name, my queen, with it. Hold on. And there's more. Hold on. We'll open the truck, okay? It's a truck like this, and then you can put all the mini racers in you get a lightning mcqueen with it and he already had one we actually have more than this but it's all the ones i could find for now so i will do do you like your new truck elfie yeah Whee! and you can put 16 of them inside so as you can see yeah it's it's big enough but it's not oh yeah, I need to put it up a bit too big. Some of the cars are smaller than the others, so you can put 16. Top. Depending on the size, you might be able to put a bit more. The top. Yeah, put it on top. That. This one, yeah. Another one. Another one. Oh, one. Oh, that. wow. That. It fits. And another one. Yeah. We'll have to find the other cars. You have more cars. You need to find them. Okay, we'll have to find them. And then you close them. Walking. No, you push it. There you go. And then you can go and drive. Wow. Do you like it? I'm very pleased with it. I'm so glad. Good. No, it doesn't come off. He's trying to get the container off. But it doesn't come off. Okay. Are you going to go and play with it in the living room now? Mm -mm. You want, can you play on the floor? Because mommy has to do work here. Mm -hmm. Can you do it on the floor? Mm -hmm. yeah, put it on the floor, okay. And I also ordered more poo bags for Echo. We use them for clearing the litter trays. And they are biodegradable ones. So that's handy. So we received the submarine top I was telling you about. Um, I really like the this brand. It's available in... Tabadams, we got a few um, top from Owen and I like the quality, it's very soft and I love the designs they have, it's very, you know, maybe originals, maybe pushing it a bit far, but you know, it's not something you see everywhere and I really like it. Let me see the new dress I had ordered, it's a Lindy Bob dress, so I'm going to try and pop this up. It's one of the Matilda dresses, has pockets, which is a big plus, where's the other one, there, I have a lot of Matilda dresses 
but this one I didn't have. I've seen it for a while. I love the color combination. They used to have it in a different color, which was not colors that were the best for me. It was like a paler, like a lilac or light blue, but I need, I'm too pain for it. This is perfect. I love this purple. I need to put a little tie there. And I love the fact that there's that blue and red and flowers. And I'll, I wanted an extra dress for going to France over Christmas because there's going to be quite a few occasions. And this one was, it's a Lindy Bob dress, but I got it on sale on, little, on the Little Wings website down to 20 pounds or something like that. It's been a long time I've had it in my basket on Lindy Bob, but it's 38 pounds and I thought I'll save it for whenever I really need it. And I saw it on offer and I thought, no, I'm getting it. So I have a new dress. I'm really yeah. happy about that. Um, yeah, so then I'll have enough dresses. I'm not going to bring my gnome one because it's a very springy dress. And also, right, I don't want this to come across the wrong way. But people in France are very judgmental when it comes to clothing and the way you look and things like this. And... Although I do love my, love my green gnome dress and I wear it here. I know in France, it just I would get a lot of looks and I would feel very uncomfortable. I already get a lot of looks wearing those types of dresses when they are not that out there, in my opinion. And my self-confidence is not the best. There will be a time I will proudly go to France and wear my gnome dress, but for now I don't feel comfortable, so I don't want to bring it. So I'm going to bring, I have like a polka dot red one and I have a polka dot navy and I'm thought I'll bring this one too. I have another one but it's a little bit tight at the moment and the button here keeps opening. So I'm just going to lose a bit of weight before I wear it again. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to have an extra dress for occasions and I'm really glad that it arrived and I absolutely love 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 this color combination so i'm very very happy hi it's thursday yeah thursday uh i just brought the boys to school alfie slept really late well actually i had to wake him up at 20 to 9 because we needed to go after <coughs> my cold is getting worse again i cannot get rid of this cold i've had it for like two months but it was it's kind of always there but it suddenly just becomes worse and then gets better again and worse and better but it never fully, go fully goes <coughs> but it's never a full cold now it's getting to that point just as I'm about to go for a weekend I'm meant to go for my flu vaccine today and I don't know if I can with that cough so I'm going to phone them and ask them I don't want to drag the boys all the way out there and queue up with them to then be told oh no you can't get it because you're sick so um <coughs> yeah I also need to tidy up my house and create three more bed arrangements for tomorrow night. So I don't know how this is going to work out, but I'm going to try my best to do stuff like tidy up at least. And then I just have the floors to clean, for example, tomorrow. And uh, yeah, yeah. Also, I did my nails last night. I'm going to turn the camera around because I don't know. Oh no, it does focus. So it's penguins, narwhal, puffin, snowflake, and this is a little sleepy fox. And then this one has no this one won't focus. Come on. Hello. Uh, there's a polar bear. There is a snowflake again. There's some ice. Another penguin and another puffin. So well, you'll get the idea. <coughs> Spent more time doing my nails, but at least now they are done, it just makes me feel better about myself and I've invested a li little bit of money in those stamps and nail polish. I need to get a few more colors because I only have three or f four colors uh, to be able to play around with them more. But at least it cost me a lot less money than if I was to get my nails painted regularly by someone. So I figured I'll spend a little money on myself to make myself feel good. Well, I spoke to the nurse who's running the clinic and she told me to wait until I'm 100% better to do it because otherwise it might make me worse so that's what I'll do, I'll just phone them back whenever uh, that's the case hopefully not too long I'm gonna make myself a hot drink and I think I just I'll try and clean like all surfaces like worktops and tables and all that and tidy up downstairs and then I'll just have the floors to do in the morning and I have a lot of laundry to do but that I can just do 
throughout the day and I need to change the beds in the morning. I might change our bed today though, because just our bed, if I wash everything, it fills the washing machine anyway, so I might do our bed and leave the boys' bedrooms and the office to tomorrow. Hi, it's now later. I collected Alfie in school. He's on the floor over there. <coughs> I've been back home for half an hour, but he doesn't want to take his backpack off. He usually doesn't wear his backpack in the house. He wears it everywhere else. But uh, some days when he's not having the best day, he, he wears it of as well in the house. I put myself this jumper in the nest. It's like stripey with a seam in the middle with a rainbow and there's red on the cuffs too. Uh, didn't plan to buy this, but I, I needed an extra like woolen jumper. And I went there to collect a parcel, well two parcels. I'm about to open one, but one of them is for Owen. He loves penguins, they are his favorite animals. And <coughs> he saw this on the next catalog and decided to buy it himself with his pocket money. It's like a blanket that has a hood and gloves with a penguin head. Um, now, because I'm seeing you're gonna to want to steal it, there's a dragon one, a reindeer one, and a unicorn one as well. So I feel loves green and loves stars and the dragon is green with green stars on it. So I think I'm gonna get him the dragon. But the reason why I went there today is because, remember that dress I showed you yesterday? I bought myself just like a button down cardigan. <coughs> but it's red on the dress and I thought it would look nice with it. I already have a cardigan in that kind, well, maybe a bit darker, like darker color like this. So I thought having a red one would be nice. And I do like simple cardigans like this because I like to wear dresses and they're nice with it. So that's a new outfit that I can bring to France. Well, I'll wear it before that, you know, but and all those colors are very me. That's potentially like teal, red, and like a darker purple like this are potentially my favorite colors to wear. Um, as well as stripey things. I love stripes and I love rainbows. So now I have, yeah, my two knitted jumpers I have are both from next. So I have this one and the rainbow seems to be the theme this year. The other one, I don't remember if I showed it to you. I have it there because I don't know. It has like a sequined and stitched rainbow <coughs> and red stripes on the sleeves. It's very soft and nice and I'm glad now I'm ready for winter and now what I'm going to do is very interesting for you but the next thing on my list is to take this because I am feeling a little bit sore for myself and I'm feeling very frustrated that this cold is coming back with a vengeance as I'm about to go on a weekend with friends that I haven't seen in years. Do you know? I mean seriously and I bet you I bet you that on top of this, my period comes. A very irregular period, sorry if this is TMI. I have PCOS, which is polycystic ovary syndrome, which means my period have a mind of their own. They do whatever they want. They're extremely long or just come whenever they decide. It's just, my body is messed up this way. Um, it's always been like that. It got better between my two pregnancies and then in the last couple of years it's gone bad again so <coughs> it causes me a lot of stuff I will probably make a video about that at some point how it affects me but yeah oh the backpack is off but he's laying on the ground with it are you alright Alfie? Yeah. are you very tired? Yeah. do you want to have a nap? no no? well we're going to get a win soon Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're missing a win. Yeah. Yeah. We're going in soon. Yeah, not yet. Okay, it's not time. Yet. What's this on the floor? If you look, what's this? What? Dragon. A baby dragon. Baby dragon. <coughs> yeah. Dragon. Where's the treasure? Uh, where at? Is it in Owen's room? Yeah. Yeah. You're very tired, Do you want to play the game on your tablet a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, and the backpack is going on again. So it's Friday, and I have just spent the morning 
preparing the house for my friends coming over. One of them should have landed, but he's gonna make his own way to our local train station. Uh, he has some work to do before, so he's gonna go to a coffee shop to work. I fish. Got all the laundry sorted. Somebody won't cooperate. What are you doing? Mm. Mommy needs to talk. Yeah. You're too noisy. Uh, oh. Too noisy. So, uh, I was saying, I've done all the laundry because I needed to wash the clothes from the week because we need to wear them. Then I have cleaned the office. Um, I opened the bed later. Sorry, the post just came. And I have a letter, private and confidential to the parents of Alfie Donnelly. So, this means we have something in writing comes from the, one of the hospitals. So I'm guessing it's some stuff about the autism clinic, which I kind of know about already, but I like to have stuff in confirm, like on some writing. Let's see. Yes, it's his appointment for his ADOS test thing. Please bring a snack to the clinic for your child to have a break during the assessment. And a map. I'm so glad. Do you know what? Because I've had it confirmed on the phone, but we have stuff in the past where we've spoken to somebody, they confirmed something on the phone, and until I have a letter in my hand, I don't take it for granted. So this is now happening. Uh, I have moved Aiko stuff from under there to the hallway. Aiko is going to be staying on her own this weekend because we're going to be here until late morning tomorrow, Saturday, and we're coming back late afternoon on Sunday. So it's like just over 24 hours. I'm going to leave a lot of extra food and water. I fill the little trays more so she can bury things. Um, I do feel like she's more than ready. I'm going to leave all the doors open so she can roam around the house and leave some toys lying around so she can play. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to set the um, radio to play now and then. We have like a timer thing just so there's a bit of noise for her. <coughs> um, when we go for Fran uh, to France for Christmas, obviously we're going for two weeks, so she's going to go to a cattery. And uh, because after that, I think when she's older, uh, James's mom will be able to feed her, but I feel like she's only, like by the time we go, she'll not even be six months old and she's still a baby. I don't want to leave her alone all day. Like for the weekend, it's okay, but I don't want her to only see somebody who feeds her in the evening for two weeks. It just doesn't agree with me. When she's older and she doesn't really care as much, that's okay. But she still needs a lot of affection and interaction and all that. And I just don't feel like leaving her with only a visitor once a day. Uh, I just feel like she's too small, so that's what we're doing. <coughs> My cold is getting so much worse. But I'm kind of thinking, if I get it full-blown now, the timing is really bad, but... I have a lot of medication and I'm taking everything I can take because I want to be able to enjoy this weekend. And um, hopefully if I get it fully this time, that will be me done with it. That's my hope anyway. Let's see if it happens, but yeah. So yeah, office tidy and clean. Upstairs is two. So the plan is that Owen is going to sleep in Alfie's room tonight. So I have uh, two of my friends who are a couple are going to sleep in the office because that turns into a double bed. And then um, my other friend who's going to sleep in Owen's room. And then we're going to make like a makeshift bed on the floor in Alfie's room for Owen. He's excited about it. We were going to let leave Alfie's bed free for my friend because there's a big chance Alfie will not sleep in his bed, but more on the couch with James. <coughs> but um, Owen was was thinking Alfie it will unsettle the routine for Alfie and all that, and I figured he's actually, he has, actually has a point. If we keep everything steady for Alfie, it will be easier. And Owen's really excited about that. Also, I've just realized that the bottom of my door down here, I don't know if you can see, but the paint has come off. That's where Echo scratches to get out. But yeah almost time to get away now so i am gonna go i haven't had lunch i'll have lunch quickly when we come back um but i have the house ready so now i don't need to stress about anything um i don't know what time my friend who has already landed is coming is going to tell me when he takes the train depending on how long it is to work for the other two are arriving tonight and the flight is landing at half nine in the evening uh there's a weather warning for the afternoon it's meant to have started about 10 minutes ago 
so far, I mean, it's windy and rainy, but nothing too bad. Um, we had another one on Wednesday that was pretty bad, and there was a lot of floods, especially near the airport. So it's kind of dreading what might happen, but where we are anyway so far, it's just more like normal Northern Irish autumn weather. Fingers crossed it doesn't get much worse, and the flights are still, you know, even if these are delays, they are not too crazy, and they can still land, so we'll see how it goes. I am going to stop vlogging. <coughs> oh, now I want to enjoy my weekend fully so I will say bye and I'll see you in the next vlog